All right. I have craziness going on in my eBay area. All right. So let's see. We are waiting for some live viewers to hop on. Guys, this is my very first ever YouTube live. It's kind of crazy. I'm really hoping people show up and that I'm not just talking to myself or the computer because that would suck. Um, I'm not going to start the haul though until at least one person is here because I need somebody to type into the chat to make sure that you guys can hear me. Uh, oh yeah, I have a viewer. <laughs> hey, whoever is viewing right now, could you type in the chat um, and let me know if you can hear me? That would be awesome. So just waiting for that. La la la. I'm hoping you can hear me. Nobody's typing. I'll type. <laughs> All right. So today we are going to be doing a live haul on what I got at the outlet stores today. I'm very super excited. I got 145 pounds. Wow, it was crazy. You guys, my cart was piled up like so high. I almost dumped it all in the parking lot when I was leaving the store. Um, okay, so I guess we will go ahead and get started. Um, I still don't know if you can hear me because whoever is watching is not typing in the chat. <laughs> oh, I have two. Can you guys hear me? If you guys can type in the chat and just let me know that you can hear me, that my microphone is working. I think it is, but I don't know. Somebody type, somebody type. Nobody's typing. Well, nobody's leaving, so I guess you can hear me. <laughs> All right, so this is um, number one find. This is a Willie Smith, and it's a plus size, and it's just a really cool, like, cowl neck sweater. I always pick up plus sizes if they look really nice. Um, plus sizes sell really fast for me. And that was a like a 1X. All right, Maurice's. Um, I always pick up Maurice's if it's in good shape. Maurice's sells really fast for me. Usually I sell Maurice's on Poshmark. Um, so this is just a denim shirt. It's a, one of those really soft denim shirts. I love it. All right. Guys, can you type in the chat box if you can hear? I'm hoping you can. All right, Coldwater Creek. Um, I always pick up Coldwater Creek. Again, this is another one that sells really well for me. Um, and this is a really neat Hawaiian print. Um, and it's got some really interesting details. I don't know if you guys can see. I think you can. But it's got some really interesting details. Um, and it's a great size. It's an extra large. But, so that will go really quick. Yay, there's a whole bunch of viewers now. Guys, if you can hear me, please type in the chat that you can hear me. Nothing's popping up in the chat. So either you're typing and I'm not seeing it or you can't hear me. Um, all right. Motherhood maternity. Again, I always pick up maternity. It goes really fast for me. And this is like a really satiny um, material. And it's in great shape. I have a whole giant um, load of maternity clothes that I just picked up at a garage sale the other day for super cheap. Very excited about that. This is a medium. Um, cargo shorts. I got a grip of cargo shorts today. Those are going to be going super quick. Um, these are Calvin Klein car cargo shorts. So those again will be going really quick and hang on. My kid is texting me here. Um, blah, blah, blah. All right. I got a whole bunch of dress pants today. Um, those usually go pretty well. I get mostly get the men's dress pants. These are just Dockers, um, really nice dress slacks. All right, I picked up some Levi's. I usually will pick up the Levi's if they're in great shape. Um, and something to be cautious of, this is a one of the smaller sizes, a 3030, so that's pretty awesome. Um, Something to be cautious of, anytime you're buying pants of any kind, check the zippers and make sure that the zippers are functional. Check the crotch seams, check the pockets at all the seams, and just make sure there's no holes 
or tears or like starting to be loose. Um, when I first started out, I was constantly redonating a bunch of stuff because I was getting at home and then finding, oh crap, the zipper's broken, or oh crap, there's a hole under the pocket that I didn't see. Um, so here's an example of something that I picked up that doesn't really, it's not like a known brand or anything like that, and it's out of season, guys, but I pick up what I think is cute. Like if I see it in the bin and I'm like, oh, that's really cute, I'm just gonna get it because it's something that I would like and I would probably buy. Um, some some thrifters out there say don't do that. Some say do do that. I say do it. Um, so I think the brand is O'Neill. It's got like this cursive O'Neill in it. Um, and it's just this really cute little floral hoodie. I mean, it's super, the print is really cool and the fabric is really soft. Um, and the inside print is neat and it's a thermal material on the inside. Um, so it doesn't have a size tag. It's got pockets on the inside. I just actually figured that out right now. <laughs> so that's cool. It doesn't have a size tag. I have no idea what size it is. I'm guessing it looks like a medium. Um, I'll probably try it on and see if it fits me and it may end up in my closet and not my Poshmark closet if you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> just saying. Um, okay, guys, there's more of you jumping in. Can you please type in the chat if you can hear me? I have no idea if you can. My mic is blinking, so I think it's working. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, okay, so this is um, Curvier Fit. And these are Style & Co jeans. So just kind of a generic, you know, Mervyn Z type brand or whatever. I can't remember where Style & Co is from. Um, but it's curvier fit, which is great. And these may also end up in my closet because they're my size. They're a 12. Um, but I got them because they were they had a little bit of bling on them. They've got these cute little rhinestones. And they've got them on the back pockets as well. They're white. And they are in great shape. No holes. No stains. And it's not very often that you find things um, at the bins that don't have stains. So, I mean, white things, I should say. Um, I love finding new with tag stuff at the bins. These are just Hager pants, um, Carefree Comfort, and they retailed for 36. They were a 3830 um, size, so for shorter dudes like my hubby, <laughs> but new with tags, you know, I'm definitely not going to pass that up. They're in great shape. Um, this is also out of season and not a super well-known brand, but I love this and I actually do fairly well with this brand. It's, um, it's called live a little. Again, this may end up in my closet. <laughs> I swear some days I just thrift for myself. It's a red suede jacket. So it's just this really neat, it's actual suede. Um, it's beautiful. It's my favorite color red. It's lined on the inside. I mean, it's it's beautiful. So that might end up in my closet too um, for winter. <laughs> All righty. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be a long haul. I have so much crap. This may end up being like a 10-part haul, you guys. Um, okay, so this is DJ International. It's a junior size 13, 14. Nothing special, but it's spring, summer. Um, it's this cute little, like, crinkle rayon sleeveless dress. Um, it ties in the back. It's got some slits on it. Nothing special. You know, that'll probably be, I don't know, $15. Nothing to shake a stick at, right? Um, okay, here we go. We have a side one. Um... <laughs> this is really interesting. So at the bins today, there were so many rompers, you guys, and jumpsuits. Like, I'm talking 80s jumpsuits. I found a jumpsuit with stirrups, you guys. It was 80s day at the bins all the way. It was crazy. One of them jumped into my cart, and it's this purple short sleeve, short terry cloth romper. Um... It's it's cute. Somebody's going to snap this up. It's purple, it's terry, and it's a romper. And these are like super in style right now. Somebody will snap that up. I have no idea what I'm going to list it for. I do not pull comps while I'm at the bins. Ain't nobody got time for that. I, some, some of you guys do. I don't. I just grab what I like and what I think is going to sell. 
that may not be the right thing to do, but it's what I do and it's been working really well for me. So it is what it is. Um, this is super cute. This is a like pin up pencil wiggle dress. Basically it's an XXL. So, um, kind of a plus size and it's stretchy, which is really neat. I'll probably, um, list this one on Poshmark, maybe not so much eBay. Um, it was in really great shape though. Uh, the polka dots and the like chiffon material here is in awesome shape. So that's super cute. Always pick up anything like pinup related. That goes really well. That goes fast. Um, this thing is an Ava and Viv 4X. Again, I always pick up plus size. Um, and it's just like a sweater cardigan, like over thingy. And it's very smelly. So this one will go in my wash pile right away. I don't wash my clothes that I get from the bins unless they have a stain that I think will come out or unless there is an odor. Um, I used to do that when I first started off. I was washing everything. No, again, ain't nobody got time for that. I can't do that. Um, so I, I do wash the things that smell like that. No, bad. I almost didn't get it because of that, but it's a 4X and it's a sweater, like lightweight cardigan material. It'll go fast. So I did. Um, this is a Jamaica Jacks uh, men's shirt. It's this really, really soft material. I usually pick up these Jamaica Jacks shirts. They do pretty well. Um, oh, it's so soft. I love these. So they do pretty well. Jamaica Jacks. Um, this one probably will end up in my cart again. This is a Willie closet. This is a Willie Smith. Again, it's just a cute little um, sort of ribbed sweater type material um, to go under like a cardigan or something. I'll probably list it. <laughs> I, I do pick up a lot of things that I love that happen to be my size. Um, this is a Coldwater Creek Natural Fit um, textured jean, if you can see that. So those black designs on there are like a felt, like a raised felt design. They're really cool. Um, and these are a size 8, and they do have stretch to them. So these will go, I think, um, pretty quickly. Coldwater Creek usually does really well. And those are some really interesting jeans. Alrighty. Um, I got the, I went back to the 80s today. I told you it was 80s day at the bins, you guys. This is a bongo um, denim jacket, but like check this out. It's a cropped um like a round, you can kind of see that, right? like a round weird hem on the bottom and it's it's so cool this is really really neat um it's not my size or my closet. Yeah, it's definitely been in someone's closet for a long time it's kind of got that almost musty odor i'll probably end up washing that one um not in season but a lightweight puffer cost me a buck um this is a weatherproof 32 degrees Peak performance, white, no stains jacket. I will put this away for winter. Um, it's like kind of like a snowboarding type coat. Um, you know, it cost me a buck. I'll probably sell it for 20, 20 bucks, maybe, maybe more. And, you know, I do, I do pick up out of season stuff from the bins. It just really depends on how cute it is and um, how good of shape it's in. Um, okay, so this one. This was cute. This is a little like schoolgirl skirt. Those always do pretty well. I listed these like punk skater schoolgirl um, keywords, and that usually will go. I don't really care what the brand is, um, but what is the brand on there? Usually, schoolgirl skirts go pretty well. It's Jewel, and it's a five six juniors. Same thing for denim skirts. Um, this is a Route 66 denim skirt, and denim skirts like this, like the little mini skirts, they go really well, too. Um, denim skirts, denim shorts, um, junior sizes, women's sizes, whatever, they're, they've been going really well. All right, let's see. This is just some more um, haggard dress pants, men's. I told you I picked up a lot of dress pants today. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, we have so much stuff to go through. These are a ton more dress pants. I'm not going to go through all of these, I don't think. Um, these are Banana Republic. I picked up a crap ton of Banana Republic today. And J. Crew, like they were in bins that had already been picked over. I love the bins that have been picked over. I never, ever go to the ones that just come out because I'm like too lazy to stand in line for friggin' half an hour while they're doing it, I guess. I don't know. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, Banana Republic, these ones, really nice. They're almost a corduroy, but not quite feel. Um, let's see. Calvin Klein dress pants, men's. Um, these are Nautica. Nautica, just kind of casual pants for dudes. Hold on, I'm going to grab a pile here. Ooh. All right. Let's see. Oh, this was cute. This was, you guys remember Rampage? I feel like I'm telling you, it was freaking 80s day at the bend. Um, so this is just a really long button down dress. It's super cute. And it's like a linen material. It actually is linen. Um, yeah, it's linen and cotton. It's like 50% linen and 55% linen, 45% cotton. But it's Rampage. It's super cute. Ties in the back. It's it's going to go. That's really cute. I totally wore Rampage when I was in my teens. Um, this is just a cute little windbreakery, light, springy. It's called Stearns is the brand, and it's called Dry Wear. Um, I'll probably save this one until fall or the rainy soccer season or whatever. Somebody will snag that. Um, and when I say save, I, I mean, I'm not going to like accept a crazy little best offer on it. I'll list it now because you know, it's raining somewhere. Somebody's going to want it. Um, okay. So these, what is this? Saffir, shoot. What is this? Oh, Saffir. I can talk. Safari denim. So safari denim, these are dudes plus size jeans. These are really neat. Um, it's missing a button on the back pocket. So I'll make sure that I list that as a flaw or also on a button. I mean, probably not because the buttons say safari denim. So I'll probably just list it as a flaw. But these are really cool jeans. These are um, a bigger size. They are boot cut 42 32s. And they're that really nice um, kind of light wash jean. But um, bigger guy sizes usually go really well. Oh, I'm going to have like an avalanche fall down on me. If I get buried, send in the troops, guys. Okay, uh, another cute little denim skirt. This is just Old Navy. It's a plus size 18. I do pick up the store brands like Old Navy or Target, you know, their Massimo stuff um, or Morona occasionally. Like denim plus size skirts, definitely I'll pick those up, obviously. These are REI men's pants or men's shorts. Really fast. Men's shorts are just flying right now. <sighs> All right, guys, nobody's typing in the chat. There's a whole bunch of you in there, but nobody's typing, so I have no idea if you can hear me. I think you can. If you're typing, it's not working. I don't know. Um, this is Fairway and Green Women's Size 4. These are golf shorts. I did not pull comps on these, but they look super cute. Um, they're in excellent shape, and usually golf shorts do okay. I never pull comps while I'm at the store. I shouldn't say never. I did pull comps on two things while I was there today. But um, anywho, um, men's dress pants. These are Kenneth Cole Reaction. Um, told you I got a ton of dress pants today. Ugh, more stuff. More stuff. Ugh. Woo. All right. Okay, let's see. We got, this is an Alfred Dunner Extra Large. 
and I don't have any idea who Alfred Dunner is or if it's a good selling brand, but like I said, I get it if I think it's cute and awesome and whatnot. And this sweater thingy is super adorable. It has these really cute um, bead, chunky beadworks here all along the neckline. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see. It's kind of sparkly. There's little baby mini sequins throughout it. And it's a really popular color scheme right now. And it's an excellent, excellent shape. Um, and this is an extra large, great size. So that one is going to go pretty quick. Growing huge. All right. Um, next up, this is a Kathy Lee collection dress. So just a cute little maxi shift dress. It's like rayon type material. That will go pretty quick. Oh, this was super cute. Okay. This is Chico's. And it's a size zero, which I think is a large or an extra large. I can't remember. I got to look. I'm not super familiar with the sizes. Um, but this is just a cute little lightweight blazer. Pretty sure this one's going to end up in my closet. Yeah, pretty sure that one's going to end in my closet. I'm just going to set that over here. <clears throat> so, <laughs> um, all right. So these are seven. Um, seven, and these are plus size men's jeans. They are, what size are they? Where did the size go? Oh, here. Um, these are a size, oh, those are not men's jeans. These are a size 20 plus size women's jeans. Um, seven. I love seven brand jeans. They're so comfortable, so comfortable. And these do have a little bit of a stretch and they have the fun back pockets. Um, don't confuse seven jeans with seven for all mankind. Not the same thing. I know a lot of people do that. Um, okay. This is one of those things I have no idea if it's going to sell. I'm taking a gamble because it's denim and it's kind of fun and it's like retro 80s type stuff. Um, <laughs> don't laugh. Don't judge me. This is my Michelle. I remember wearing my Michelle when I was in high school. <laughs> um, and it's this cute little denim dress. It's like a fit and flare dress. It's got black velvet on the sleeves and on the collar and then lacing up the back. I have no idea, guys, if this is going to go or not. Um, so we're going to list it and we'll find out. I'll probably put it up for like 15 bucks and just see, see what happens. We're going to roll the dice. Um, okay. This one is super cute. This is a Missy Dorby Petite and it's a size 10. I'll probably list this as like a mother of the bride type thing. It's like one of those really flowy, it's got this sheer top and then a sheer lined skirt. Um, so it's a really cute dress. Like I said, mother of the bride or something like that. It's that type of an event that you would wear that too. Um, this looks like a Maurice's. Yep, this is Maurice's. Again, I always pick up anything Maurice's. Just this cute little um, plaid. It's like a linen cottony material with the lace on it. And the sleeves are lace. No, the sleeves are not lace. The sleeves are that crinkle cotton material. Super cute. Um, this is another denim skirt. And this is cabbie. This is old cabby. This is not new. So if you guys are sourcing for cabby, um, new cabby has the square tag and old cabby has the long tag like this. But this denim skirt is super cute. Um, it's kind of longer like calf length and uh, it has a couple of spots on it. So I definitely need to wash this one. It's like somebody spilled spaghetti or something on it. Um, and when you're buying stuff at the bins, if they have stains on them, um, that you're not sure if you can get out, just scrape your fingernail on them. <coughs> and if they start to come off, it's a stain you can get out most times. Um, but if it's like paint or something like that, I mean, there's ways you can get that out. Usually I won't pick up stuff that has, um, paint or whatever on it just because I don't want to spend the time it's going to take to get that out. I ran across a couple of things earlier today at the bins that had paint on it that I really wish did not have paint on it, but I, I don't have time for that. 
Um, more Kenneth Cole reaction men's dress slacks. These are a pinstripe. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. I don't think you can. Maybe a little bit. Um, I always pick up Kenneth Cole. Those usually go pretty well. Oh, I love this one. This is just uh, not like anything crazy. It's Blair. I don't even, I've never heard of that brand, but it was super cute and it will go because it is like a career, like a business casual shirt with these um, satin cuffs and collar and it's pink and it's adorable and if it was my size I would keep it but it's a medium so that one's not gonna make its way to my closet until after I lose 30 more pounds all right let me grab some more stuff all right Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> you guys we haven't even gotten through half of it yet <laughs> All right, this is another one of those cute, I always pick up these business casual, like work, career type things. Um, this is a Bonworth. Again, I did not pull comps and I don't know the brand, but it is super, super cute. It will definitely sell. Um, this one is Jessica London and it's a plus size 1820. It's nothing special. It's just a really cute little stretchy summer top and plus size, like I said, goes really well. Um, I was really on the fence getting this thing. This is a Sejon Accessories, Sejon, I don't know how you say this, but it is genuine rabbit fur. Um, I don't know. It's like a poncho shawl thing that you put over your head. Um, I don't know if it's going to sell. I don't know if there's a market for it. I don't know if I should have gotten it, but it was really soft and furry and fluffy. So I picked it up. I don't know. It reminded me of my grandma. <laughs> it was like 50 cents. Who cares? Um, all right. These are Croft and Borrow, just your generic, like, where, where's Croft and Borrow? Is that like, um, JC Penney's or Nordstrom's or Macy's or I don't remember where that's from, but just basic men's dress pants. Um, all right. This is East fifth. I've sold several of their pieces. Um, it's not like a high end brand or anything, but they tend to do fairly well and the black wasn't faded and it's kind of like a zebra print almost. It's not quite a zebra print. I don't know, but it's this cute little, kind of like button up cardigan thing. It's cute. It'll go. Um, more men's shorts. These are in great shape. These are Hurley's. The last pair of Hurley's men's shorts that I bought and stuck up sold like the next day. Um, they Hurley's just fly off the shelf. I don't know what it is. And these are in excellent shape. They're just really, really great. So always pick up Hurley. These are Ralph Lauren pants, um, and they're men's, men's dress pants. I pick up Ralph Lauren anything as long as it's in good shape. Um, let's see. <clears throat> These are Louis, Louis Raphael, Louis Raphael. I don't know. Um, they are probably part of a, a suit. They seem like suit pants to me, but they're excellent condition men's suit dress pants. So I snagged those. It was the day of 80s and dress pants at the bins. 80s and dress pants. That's like, <coughs> whew, got hair in my mouth. Um, alrighty. Let's see. These are just Morona Target brand gray men's casual pants. Gray men's casual pants go really well for me, even though they're just the store brand Morona. Um, you know, I'll get probably 15 bucks for those. These are, these have the, um, that like sticky, like keep your shirt tucked in your pants thing all the way around them. Um, they're Nike golf pants for dudes, obviously. Nike golf pants will definitely um, sell really quickly. All right. I'm going to go get my next bag. Hang tight. One sec. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, Ikea bags, you guys. Get them. Something fell. <laughs> 
it's like a it's like a maze it's a death trap in here all right oh that is so gonna fall okay um Perry Ellis portfolio dress pants for dudes I'm not going to spend too much time talking about all that because I just got a ton of dress pants. Um, Urban Pipeline, men's cargo shorts. Like I said, men's shorts are flying off the shelves right now. Any kind of shorts. Oh, this was super cute. I have no idea what this brand is. This is Nikki, Nikki Mac. So, Nikki Mac. I know everything's backwards on my monitor, but whatever. Um, but it's super cute. It's this cute little halter dress. And it's like a slinky, sexy. I'll probably list this as like ballroom dance, Latin dress, something like that. And that will sell it pretty quick. <clears throat> uh, let's see. This is... Ah, this is Quicksilver. It was the day of the 80s at the bend. First sweatshirt. This may make its way into my closet. I don't know. It's. I think it's a dude's. Um, it's a dude's large. It's not a chick's. Um, but it's so cool. I love this Quicksilver. Like it just reminds me of the ocean. I don't know. I'm weird, you guys. I I'm stuck in the '80s. I love the '80s, and they're coming back. I'm sure of it. Um, okay, so this is Karen Scott. And it's just, again, my favorite little, like, business casual shirt within a shirt type of thing with the Argyle print. That will sell pretty quick. And this is uh, size large, so great size. Might make that into my closet. <clears throat> um, I'm in Oregon, so I have to pick up Oregon State. I'm a Duck fan, you guys. Um, but somebody in Oregon will buy this, so... Grab that. It's just a regular hoodie, and it's a size eight. This must be like a kids. It doesn't look like it's an eight kids. Maybe it's an eight kids. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy it. Um, okay, so I bought two of these shirts. I don't think I've heard of the brand. Maybe I have Helix. And it says, instinct is a virtue. So it's helix and it's extra, extra large. Um, I bought this because of the really cool designs. So on the back is this really cool, and that's like a shiny silver. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'll toss this in the dryer with a damp towel. Anything that's wrinkled, I toss in. I also have a steamer for like things that really shouldn't go in the dryer. Um, but I'll just toss this in the dryer for a few minutes with a damp towel to de-wrinkle it. But it's a really cool, it's an extra, extra large. So it's a bigger guy size. It'll go really well. And then another one um, that's kind of similar is a carbon. And it just has these like stars on it. And then this design on the back. So I find that guy shirts that have these types of designs on them tend to go pretty well. All right, Calvin Klein dress shirt. Calvin Klein is one of my favorite brands to pick up. I know a lot of resellers don't mess with Calvin Klein. They don't like to pick it up. I do. I pick up everything Calvin Klein. Um, I got quite a few jeans. These are Cabela's for women. I don't know how these are going to do. I've never sold Cabela's for women before. And I think I got two Cabela's for women pieces. Um, these are a size 10 regular. So... I don't know. That will be an experiment for me. But usually jeans tend to go pretty well. I am just itchy. The bins were so dusty today. Everybody in there was sneezing like crazy. Um, this is just a cute little Maurice's top. It's like a burnout um, t-shirt type material. That will go probably not for too much. Maybe 10 bucks. I don't know. This is Mossimo, just Target brand, but it's spring, summer, it's yellow, it's flowers, it's super, super cute, and it's a size large. So it's a decent size, and it's um, really in season right now. You know, eh, 10 bucks, 5 bucks, I don't know. It, it's like store filler. Um, more Banana Republic pants. These are women's size 8, and they're capris. So those are super cute. I wish I was a size 8, but no. 
and I can't even say someday because I just don't see that happening. Um, this is super cute. I am not a Sugar Skulls fan, but a lot of people are. And this is just no boundaries. So, you know, it's like your Walmart brand or whatever. And it's this little Sugar Skull that's silver and shiny. And then in the back, it has that cute little crisscross. So it's in style. It's not going to be like a high-end piece. And it does have a little um, sticky thing on the front. So I need to wash that. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's store filler. It's cute. It'll go. Um, okay, this is a Jazz 2 size 10 summer dress. It's long. I'm buying up anything springy, summery, and long that's, you know, semi-cute. So that will go. Everybody is blowing up my phone. <laughs> Hi, guys. Guys, this is my first YouTube live. You guys, you guys are here for my first one. I'm very excited. Um, okay, this is a size 14, 16 denim jacket, and this is Dress Barn. So I think this one will go pretty well. Denim seems to be flying off the shelves still. I'm kind of hoping the denim trend ends pretty soon. I don't do denim, it's kind of weird. Um, here's another cute little summer dress. This has literally no tags in it. Um, but you guys, I saw this and I was just like in love and I grabbed it and it's this long and it's got the lining and then the sheer and it's just this cute little, cute little spring dress. No tag. I don't know the brand and I don't know the size, so I'll be measuring it, but somebody will buy this probably on Poshmark. Very cute. Um, this is just an Aeropostel. Is that how you say that? Aeropostel? Aeropostel? Aeropostel. I don't know, but it's just a cute hoodie, and it's a bigger size. It's a large. So that's a cute little hoodie. I usually buy a Aeropostel. It usually sells pretty quickly. Um, this, oh, this is cute. This is a Christopher and Banks size large. Um, I always buy a Christopher and Banks, you guys. This flies off my shelves. I think I'm going to keep this though. <laughs> it's going to fly off my shelf and into my closet. Um, because it's my size and it's really cute. And it's just like really lightweight, springy. I don't even know what, I, I don't even know how I would list it. See, I can't sell it because I don't know how to list it. I can't describe it other than awesome. So that's my excuse for not selling it and it's going in my closet because I don't know how to list it. I don't know, it's cute. Christopher and Banks, pick it up. <laughs> um, I'm so full of excuses, you guys. So this is Le Levi's Action Slacks. So basically these are like casual dress slacks, sort of, but they're Levi's. They're like, almost jeans material but they're cat they're like business material business material is that a thing i don't know levi's casual no action what are they what did i say i can't i can't even today with the words uh levi's action slacks this was a new in package the men's store t-shirt i will probably use this as like a gift with purchase um on poshmark I'll just pop that in someone's package that's a men's size large. Alrighty. These are cute little Eddie Bauer denim shorts. And I'm pretty sure these are actually dudes. They're size 34. I don't know if they're dudes. They're dudes. They got the deep, deep pockets. Um, so if you know, if you don't know, a cute little trick um, to telling if something is a guy's or a girl's. Um, pants, check the pockets. If the pockets are deep, they're guys because guys suck and they get everything. And girls have pockets that aren't even pockets and you can't even stick your freaking hands in them. And if you can, you can only get like up to your knuckles. Um, that's how you tell the difference most times. So these are, uh, I'm going to say like dad bod shorts. They're kind of shorter. I don't know, but they were Eddie Bauer and their denim shorts. We'll see if they go. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one. I usually pick up Eddie Bauer. Some people don't. It goes pretty well for me. Um, these are Nike size large, and they look like probably 
I'm going to say a lady's size large. You know, let me just check the pockets. They're deep. Mm, they're not super deep. I don't know. Um, I'll try these on myself. And if they fit me, they're a lady's large. If they fit my husband, they're a man's large. That's how we're going to tell this one. But they have the zippers um, somewhere. They have zippers on the bottom. And they smell, so I'm going to wash them. Um, so this is a Big Island Harley Davidson tank top. Um, a lot of times I don't pick up things that are like state specific, um, but this is Harley Davidson and it's Hawaii. So it was kind of like a two for a win-win. Had to pick that up. Um, guys, if anyone's typing, I'm not seeing the live chat for some reason. So I don't know if you're typing, I can't see. And if you're asking me questions, I'm sorry I'm not answering because I can't see them. And if you aren't typing, please type so I can see if the chat works. <laughs> um, this is another Kathy Lee collection. So my second one of the day. Cute, cute little sweater. It's just ivory colored. Um, it's an extra large or it would be in my closet. It's a little too big for me, but it's super cute. <clears throat> there are several more things that are making their way to my closet out of these bags. Um, these are Royal Robins Outdoor Travel Clothing Men's 34-32, and they're basically just brown corduroy pants with the cool little zipper pockets on the side. Somebody will want those. Um, this is just a cute little soft surroundings um, broomstick denim skirt. It's long and cute and gypsy boho type thing. Somebody will want that. More men's shorts. These are Timberland. Timberland seems to go pretty well for me. Uh, let's see. These are something. These are a size 42 and they don't have a brand on them, but they're a larger size 42 men's cargo shorts. So they will go I'll probably just throw those up. Oh, here's the brand. Duh. Um, these are Wrangler. Wrangler. Size 42. So those will probably go pretty great. Uh, these are Lucky Brand. Um, size 6 with a 28 inseam. So they're for shorties like me. Lucky Brand. Those always go pretty well. And again, check the zippers, check the pockets for holes. Okay, this I picked up because it was really interesting and cute. Um, somebody will want it. I have no idea what the brand is. Like, somebody's gonna know. I'm gonna post this up in my in my groups. But it's this cute little like sheer top with the cutout back and the slit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? Do you guys, okay, does anybody know what this is? What brand is this? No idea. Don't even know how I'm going to list it, honestly. But it's cute. Somebody's going to want it. So, took a gamble, grabbed it. All right. Next. Da -da -da -da. No! Oh, there goes my pile. Ugh. Well, schnitzel. <laughs> All right. Um, this is Maurice's. Just a cute little white, um, summery, like, um, linen-y type jacket. It's got pockets and, like, the ruched sleeves. Is it my size? Because it might... <gasps> this one might make it into my closet. My husband hates it when I go sourcing because I keep stuff. Um, this is a size 1X, really lightweight sweater. Like, this is appropriate for spring. It's very lightweight. Um, somebody will want this. And I think it's three three quarter sleeves. So plus size, again, I always, always pick up plus sizes. Um, these are Banana Republic men's khakis. I got a lot of Banana Republic today. I don't know if those will sell. I don't know if they're in style. I'm sure they will. I might not get very much for them, but they'll go. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, we're down to the last Ikea bag. And then there's a huge box of shoes, but that's going to be part two. I can't do 
all of it in one sitting, you guys. I will die. Okay, this is a White House extra, extra large men's button down shirt. And these are, I love pearl snap shirts, you guys. I pick up every pearl snap shirt I come across. These are amazing. I don't care what brand it is. If it's Pearl Snap, I am getting it. Um, this is an extra, extra large, though, so it's a plus size for guys, and it's just a, an awesome lightweight button-down shirt. This will sell pretty quick. This is another just regular Cotton Maxi, Andrea Missy size large. It's just a long, summery, flowy maxi dress. Andrea Missy. Cute. Here is more denim. Okay, I don't know about this, you guys. <laughs> this is, but it's denim and it's plus size. I don't know if it's going to go, but it, the brand is New Look. But it's this like fluorescent orange hoodie. And then it's a denim jacket with orange sleeves. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to go. <laughs> it's interesting. I took a gamble. I do that, you guys. I take gambles on stuff that I think might go. You never know. Um, this thing is Aeropostale Extra Large um, Dude's Jacket. I'll hang on to that probably through, you know, fall and whatnot. Um, this was super cute. This is another Christopher and Banks. This is a size medium. Cute little white sweater with a turtleneck and um, front pocket here. It's white, so it'll probably go even though it's a sweater. It's spring and it's still kind of windy, so I think this will go pretty quick. It's Christopher and Banks. Again, always pick up Christopher and Banks. Um, this is something I picked up for me. <laughs> It's a Tweety Bird sweatshirt, you guys. It's Tweety Bird. I collect Tweety Bird and Harry Potter um, and a couple other things, but Tweety Bird and Harry Potter are kind of my thing. So um, this is a Quacker Factory. So it's a QVC brand. These usually sell pretty quickly. This is a super cute little, like, velour um it's got some rhinestone, actually there are sequins, all the way down here and this cute little like blingy zipper. If you guys aren't familiar with Quacker Factory, definitely want to pick that up. Um, this is size large, so it's not even, like usually Quacker Factory is very plus size stuff, but this is a size large and that'll go pretty quickly. <clears throat> all right. This is a Studio Works Woman. I don't know the brand, but it's a plus size 2X and it's super cute it's like a brown with um copper gold sparkles in it if you can see that and it's short sleeve so it's appropriate for spring somebody will want that um cold water creek natural fit i always pick up cold water creek these are petites they're size six petite and this is like a super soft denim jean material. My phone is blowing up. All right. Um, Cambridge Hall. And this is, um, I got this because it's a men's big. Um, it's actually like a size 19, big, 1934. Um, so I, again, I pick up plus size in guys and girls. Always, always, always plus sizes. I don't know the brand, but it's a nice plus size dude's dress shirt. It will go. All right, this is a Chadwick, size 16, awesome size, and it's this cute little, like, summery type dress. Um, super cute. It's really hard to show you guys, but it's got um, these satin, satin ribbon shoulder strap. It's got this cute little bow right here with this cute little cutout. It's a size 16. Awesome size. So cute. And these straps are removable. So you can make it strapless. Very, very cute. I'll probably list this um, as like pinup summer dress or something. I don't know. That'll go pretty quick. More denim. <laughs> 
This is a passport size medium. I thought this was actually kind of cute. Like I might even wear something like that, you guys. It's kind of cute. It's like ruffly sort of denim vest. It's cute. I would I would rock that probably. All right. More jeans. These are Michael Kors jeans. Um, obviously, I was going to pick those up. There's nothing wrong with them. They are a size 10 petite. They have bling on the front pocket. It's really hard to see. I need better light. They have bling on the back pockets. Can you guys see this? Um, so, yeah, Michael Kors, definitely. And Goodwill had them priced at $7.99. Like, do they not realize that they're Michael Kors? I don't know. Usually they, they're more expensive with their jeans, but I don't care. I paid a buck for them, so those are awesome. All right. These are Vigos jeans. Um, I've actually done pretty well with Vigos jeans. I don't know too much about them, but um, they have usually this like sewn tacked on tag on the back um cute little designs on the pocket they're a size five so they're juniors they're boot cut they're not like the best size um but we'll see how they go you know even if it's just 10 bucks it's 10 bucks i didn't have yesterday right all right this is green and I'm not a green fan, but there are green fans out there. This is Liz & Co. Extra Large Short Sleeve Argyle Sweater. Very cool for business casual stuff. Somebody will snag this up. Um, you know, this would be super cute paired with like a navy blue pair of pants or a white pair of capris or whatever. It's an extra large or I might try it even though I don't like green. All right. Um, Style & Co. jeans. Um, they were... Super cute though, they're slim leg um, and they have these really slimming like piping seams down the front. I love those. And then they've got the bling on the back pockets. In fact, I think I got these for me. <laughs> um, oh, I did not, they're size 10. They are stretchy though, but no, I will sell these. They're super cute and then cute little zipper pocket too. Um, the only flaw that these have is the zipper, it's missing the zipper pull, so. You can still zip it, um, but it's missing whatever the little dangly thing was that's on there. That's the only flaw. All right. These are more Ralph Lauren dress pants. And these are just a guys something 3232. Pretty standard stuff. Oh, God, more 80s, you guys more 80s bongo look at that denim skirt you guys out of the 80s 90s 80s i don't know it's cute it's acid wash it's bongo <laughs> it's so cute yeah and it smells like it's been in someone's attic since the 80s it does but it's very cute um oh this was cute like, how do people go through the bins and leave J. Crew corduroy jackets? How does that even happen? So this is a J. Crew corduroy jacket with that cute little inside lining, size medium. It's a guy's jacket. The only thing that would be better is if it had elbow patches. I have one over there that has elbow patches. But yeah, I mean, this was just sitting, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just sitting right there in the bin that it had been picked through a million times. I'm like, Hello! It's a J. Crew corduroy jacket. Y'all are tripping. Okay. And I think, I think this is the last of the clothes, you guys, from today. <laughs> these are Jennifer Lopez. Um, these are size 16. And they're capris. So they will definitely sell pretty quickly. Jennifer Lopez actually does pretty well for me. A lot of people don't mess with Jennifer Lopez, but I like to get her shoes because I'm a shoe freak and her clothes seem to go decent for me. All right. And then this is um, Carhartt for women. So there's the other piece I was telling you I got. I have no idea. I've never sold Carhartt for women, but it's a, a neat little hoodie. It's like a... 
pinkish red. I would say it's more red, really. Nice little hoodie. Um, and just says Carhartt on the front. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, just a scrubs top. Cute little spring flowery scrubs top. And it was a 2X. So plus size scrub tops usually do really well. And the last thing I'm going to have to wash because it's got a little bit of a stain on the cuff that I didn't notice or the hem when I got it. Um, it's a Covington size 14 stretchy corduroy pants. Um, yeah, I like these. I might try these on actually. They might be too big for me, but maybe I can shrink them. <laughs> but I gotta wash them anyway, right? Maybe I'll wash them in extra hot water. So that's it for the clothing haul, you guys. Um, and I will do a part two probably this afternoon for the shoes. So stay tuned for the shoes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was my very first YouTube live video, my very first haul video. Hopefully it was helpful. Guys, leave me a comment, subscribe. I'm going to start doing a lot more haul videos because this was super fun. All right. Thanks guys.